Hello all you GT6 fans. Today we're going to be doing a top speed test on the 2011 Brian Bricker's number 83 NASCAR, the Red Bull Toyota Camry. And a lot of people say that all the NASCARs are the same, the same amount of horsepower, and it doesn't matter what suspension you set up, it's all the same. Which is a lie, because this Toyota Camry, the Red Bull one, is faster than all the other NASCARs. Give you a good look at it. And we're going to be doing it different today instead of running a top speed test on it. They have a new seasonal event, a NASCAR run, and we're going to run this car in it instead and you can see how fast it is pretty detailed all right so since they have a new seasonal that came out today already got a gold as you can tell on it it's a beginners level race so it's not hard to win this race at all 620 PP restriction with 842 horsepower so if yours is souped up all the way you're gonna have to take your power limiter and take it down to 620 I had to But as you see here, for gold you get three hundred thousand dollars, for silver you got a hundred and eighty thousand, and for bronze you get a hundred and fifty thousand credits. If you get a gold, you win the Charger RT, the nineteen seventy. You get to pick any color you want for it. Plus you get a GT Old Generation Blue, and you get the GT Chrome Paint, the blue one. So, let's see how she'll do. Oh, and it's under the lights. Draft your car. That's the number one thing in NASCAR. If you draft another car in front of you, you will pick up more speed. You will have to go up high on some of these corners to pass. But you see how much speed you get by drafting people. We just went right to the front. On lap number two. So when he's drafting me, I can see Eric Morales.
run are not bad lap times, about 44 seconds.202 miles an hour down the straightaway by herself, not in the draft. You know what they say in NASCAR, the quickest way around the circle is down low. This setup, you can stay down low all day. Get up next to that wall and draft it. But you see, we're pulling away from them. So I've got a pretty good setup. Pretty good gears. In the draft, she'll pull 208, 210 miles an hour down the straightaway. And as you see, by half the track almost, we won. Being by six seconds. We got four hundred and fifty credits. But I can't have any more because now I'm at 50 million credits. Meaning I need to go buy more cars. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you my setup now on it. Okay, we have racing cards, which we probably could have changed. No. Uh, intermediate. But that was racing hard. It goes even faster with racing soft. This is my setup for suspension. If you want a closer look? Pause the video. This is my transmission setup. Pause the video if you didn't get a close enough look. Like always, my drivetrain setup is 565. Make sure you have all your updates on the motor, which there's not much you can do to this motor. Oh, and the power limiter, yeah, we have to bring it down to 94.4 to qualify and to get into that race. So it'll go even faster than what I told you in the draft. It'll probably run 215, 220 in the draft with 100% on the power limiter. But we had to bring it down to get into this event to get into the 620 PP. Make sure you have an oil change. It gives you more horsepower. Uh, on this, make sure that your downforce on the front is... 212. Don't ask me why, but it just turns better that way. And the rear is all the way down. 
400. And the ballast position is at negative 50. And there you have it. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to tell your friends about me. Thank you very much for